Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, as you can see before, here's a couple of hour heads I made out of uh, some uh, copper rounds. These things right here. Um, <clears throat> thought I'd do a little video to show you how I made them, which is pretty simple. I'm sure you guys can figure it out on your own, but this is my first go around. You can see they're not exactly even on the top, but if you think about it, our heads are not really even. But uh, you can see I got better with this one than the second one. Still a little off there, but you see how off the top is on that one. So um, I can, I, this time I think I'm going to make one out of a Kennedy half dollar. A little easier to work with the, than those gigantic. Um, copper rounds because these things are really thick they don't even fit in my uh, Harbor Freight punch uh, that's why I, uh, when you see that hole right there it's all centered because it's a pain in the ass to use a Harbor Freight punch to begin with let alone uh, get a thick coin in there but it'll work for a keychain so let me get set up here and we'll get started Okay, to get the arrowhead design, <clears throat> you can use a pattern, which is what I have here. I have a couple of different patterns. These are actually for the copper rounds. This one here you can see is much smaller for the Kennedy. And uh, <clears throat> this one here I think is also for the copper round. And this one as well. Yeah, see how much bigger they are? But uh, you can draw your own. You can freehand it, whatever you want to do. But I made little patterns like this. That way you can situate it on the coin the way you want it. And I use a spray adhesive um, to stick it to the coin. This is basting spray, same thing. And uh, I use my little hacksaw to get the uh, biggest part of it off. And then I'll use my grinder to fine tune it then I use my Dremel to uh, get the little edges and stuff that I need to get off and uh, put into detail and then I'll, I'll uh, buff it up so I'm gonna cut this pattern out right here uh, Kennedy half I think is 30.6 millimeters and I think these are 33 millimeters 33.8 millimeters or something like that I, I've looked it up online you can do the same thing just google it uh, and it'll tell you and then you can make your own patterns I used paint shop pro 9 on uh, to do that with I prefer the older programs they're easier to use than the newfangled ones they think they're making it easier for everybody to use but anyway <clears throat> let me cut this pattern out and get it glued to the coin and you know you want to situate it like I want to try and get it on here where the whole eagle is um, in the arrowhead and, and uh, the wheat in the olive branch as well that's my main goal the rest of it if I get that in there will be great be right back alrighty I uh, cut out the pattern and uh, plot it to the coin when you stick it on there, if you rub on it real good, you can see the outline of the eagle. Make sure you get it where you want it before you start cutting. I'm sure you can see that. Um, I basically just find the middle of where I want to be and put the point there and just even it out. And uh, <clears throat> that'll be the pattern that I'm going to use. I think I'm going to the side here is a little fatter. I might trim that off a little bit more. But anyway, we're going to move over here to the to the vise. What I'm going to do, this isn't silver, but if you're going to use a silver coin, you might want to, you know, use some kind of protection. I, I'm going to use protection anyway because I don't want a bunch of Mars on the finished product here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten this up my vise. A lot of these guys, they use jeweler saws, and I ordered one, but hadn't got here yet. 
um, and they use a smart vice for their dual their their uh, <clears throat> pins on their jewelers benches but uh, this works just as well and uh, a lot of guys who make who cut coins do this as well <clears throat> so what we want to do I'm gonna cut this here inner point out the teeth are set up on my saw for drag There you go, that's uh, the basic uh, pattern of it. Uh, one of the reasons I choose to cut them out in hunks rather than, rather than grind off the sides is because if you're doing a silver uh, coin, you want to save the metal because it's uh, precious metal and it's worth some more money than it's clad. So you can cut it off in chunks and you don't have a bunch of fine pieces laying around. You might want to set, if you want to save the saw dust from the coin you might want to set this in a tray where you can dust it off with a paintbrush or something to uh, save those particles like that right there and uh, recycle them okay I don't know how well this is going to video I'm going to try and get you zoomed in there um, I'm going to grind these edges down I'll probably mute this part so you don't have to listen to it um, but we're going to smooth off these edges right here. I'm going to hold it with a rag so it don't burn me. But that do get very hot. Okay. 
All right, bring you over here and show you what I got. Sorry for the jerkiness. All right, and ground off the top and the sides. You can see that I still didn't get it straight in here. Um, hopefully, when I get my jeweler saw, I'll be able to do a little bit better work. I'm not worried about the paper. I can either burn it off with the torch or it'll eventually come off. Um, now I'm going to take my Dremel to it and clean up these um, little inside edges and I'm going to put the chippy marks on there like uh, if it had been struck with a rock to make the arrowhead. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to get my Dremel set up and be right back. Okay, as you can see I've got several different deburring and uh, finishing bits here. But I'm going to start with the sanding bit here and I'm going to work on the edges smoothing them out. We don't want it to come to a point because you could get hurt with it, so we're just going to lay on over that point like that. Don't want any points, so we're going to sand all these points off. Sand that edge to get any burrs off. You know, do the, what I call the back, but it's actually the front of the coin. Sometimes by looking at the back of it, you can see where you can remove a little. Keep it shaped, you see. And I'm going to use this grinding stone to try and get inside those uh, points there. Right in here to try and even it out a little bit. Whoop. Gotta hold that thing still. Let the tool do the work. Yeah.
Now I'm going to try this one here. I've never used this one. I'm going to try this one here to make little chips. See how it works out. Works pretty good, I think. You want to do both sides. Remember, let the tool do the work. If you try to force it, you end up the tool jumps around and all that. You just want to set it there and hold it still and let it do the work. Like Bob says with his grinder, let the tool do the work. It's safer that way. You try to force it, if it catches, it's going to hurt you. Peeling the paper off of it. Okay, <clears throat> that's what it looks like so far. I really like that that uh, shiny silvery surface with the uh, copper edges. It just kind of makes it pop a little bit, you know. I could add patina to that too uh, by uh, heating it up. You, you couldn't use liver of sulfur because it's not silver, but you could heat it up and buff out the top and it looked pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the back side and then I'll come back and uh, buff it out for you. Okay, this is my mini tool buffer from Harbor Freight. It's, it sucks ass. Um, it's not very strong. I could stop it with my hand. Um, but I'm going to use it because it's got this buffing wheel on here. And I can use it to remove these burrs on here without damaging the coin. Uh, just a word of advice. When you put these scalloped edges on here, don't go too far. Just stay on the edge, you know, stay in the middle of the reeded, of the reeded you know, with, with the edge of the coin. Because if you go too far, you're going to end up with a hole right there. Or groove, you know, it's going to go too far in there. So let's buff this out. I'm saying, stop it with my hand. Okay. Take my old dirty rag here and polish it up and you get a clean one. You probably wonder why I didn't put any buffing compound on there. It's because it's already full. I put too much in there, so I've just been using it the way it is. Until it's all, you know, until, until I need more compound. Got a little glue on here. But it's looking nice. Looking nice. Um While I'm doing this, I just want to talk to you a minute about leaving a like. Not necessarily just for my video, but uh, all your friends out there that you watch their videos on. Um, I don't know if you guys know this or not. YouTube usually uh, does their AdSense. Um, and for those who don't monetize, you probably don't care. But for those who do, um, YouTube does their AdSense usually by views how many views you get and how long they watch well they've changed it now they went back to the old way of doing it by how many likes you get and uh, if you notice there's some people out there who have um, I've seen them have a hundred thousand views and have two thousand likes well that's not going to be good for their bottom line later on so, you know, for the people you like and care about, your friends and all that, 
like me, <laughs> uh, leave a like because it's going to help them out um, with their AdSense and stuff. But um, you know, every every friend of mine that I watch your video, even if I don't leave a comment, I leave a like because sometimes I just don't feel like you know saying anything. Sometimes I just feel bad and I don't I don't have the energy to type. But, uh, yeah, leave your friends a like, okay? And all your favorite subs subscriptions. <clears throat> like me. So, there's the uh, Arrowhead uh, 50 cent piece. Kennedy half dollar. It's clad. And I like it because it has that copper sticking out on the edge. You know, and it gives it some character. You can also do this with silver and put some patina on it and all that. Um... I'm not going to punch a hole in it. I'm going to drill a hole in it. You can use it for a necklace. You can use it for a keychain, something like that. Uh, you know, something this large would be ideal for a keychain because it's big and you can see it. Something small like this, you can put it on a necklace and it'll look good. If you're, you know, you're a man's man, you can put that on there. But now this being copper, I would. Um, Definitely put some clear coat on it because you know when it rests against your chest, it's gonna it's gonna turn your chest green wherever it <laughs> lays because it's copper. If you can find a big enough clad coin or a silver coin, silver will leave your skin a different color sometimes too. But yep, throw it on the floor. <laughs> but uh, yep, that's how I do it. So you guys leave me a thumbs up, okay? Uh, you can. Let me know you hate me or you don't hate me, whatever. Um, but definitely leave your friends a thumbs up. Even if you don't like their video, leave them a thumbs up. It's just the right thing to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you leave me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I hope you subscribe. And um, leave me a comment if you want to talk about this or if you have any questions. Other than that, y'all have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.